Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Very excited. Look what the mailman brought me today. It's my Dame Darcy Mermaid Tarot. So I've removed the tape. We're going to open it up. I have her um, I have her Queen Alice Tarot. Oh, look at this. Little freebies here. Dame Darcy is a graphic artist. Look how sweet that is. Little cutouts of various items. There's a whale. Very sweet. Something on the back. There's a mermaid on the back. Oh, it looks like it's a sticker. Oh, wonderful. It's a sticker. Oh, that's really fun. This is not a sticker, but this is. Okay, look at this. Very pretty. Looks like out of a coloring book, probably. Cute. Oh, what do we have here? A couple of dolphins. Ah, dearest Geneva. Magic thank you, mermaid blessings, DD. Oh, isn't that sweet? I love the personal touch. I'll put a link in the description box below where you can order this deck if you'd like to. Now what I ordered was a lesser price than the regular mermaid tarot. I ordered one without a box and in a muslin bag. So here it is. Now if you order on... I looked on her website just now and they no longer offer this configuration. Uh, it's a little lower price, but you don't get the box, you get a bag. And that's just fine with me. I really like having a bag for my decks. And this is a special bag. Everybody gets the box, but not everybody gets a bag. Nice. Well, she possibly has this. I, I believe she does have this bag available on her, on her website, now that I think of it. And I think it's like $10. Featuring the Queen of Cups. Okay, now if you're familiar with this, uh, this artist, she does not send a little white book. You go to her website and you can download a booklet about the decks. So I've done that with the Queen Alice Tarot, which is the Alice in Wonderland Tarot that she does. Okay, so here we are. It does not have the gilding like the... Uh, like the uh, higher end edition does. And I don't have the other edition to compare the card stock, but we have, you know, the same backing on the card. The card stock is very nice. I like it. It's kind of semi glossy, but it's not too shiny. You can tell here. So that's great. So I'm just going to go through these as we receive them. And let me come in a little closer so we can get a better view of the cards. Alrighty, first we have the High Priestess. Really beautiful. I love the pomegranates. We've got kind of a green ocean behind there. Here is the tower. Now if you're familiar with this deck, I guess you could kind of guess based on the name Mermaid Tarot, but it is a nautical themed deck. So here is sort of a sea castle or a seaside tower and the wave taking it out. It's got fire as if it's been hit by lightning and being hit by the wave. So sort of a double whammy on this tower. Each of her cards is signed with her name. She's a graphic artist, as I mentioned earlier. She's got quite a few other uh, interests and items that are available on her website. She's got makeup, she's got dolls, she's got uh, comic books. Here is the Nine of Swords. Six of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Three of Wands, that's very Rider Waite looking. Of course the 
Three of Wands ship symbology is very fitting with this nautical theme deck. Here we have the hanged man hanging from the where the sails are. Very nice. Five of Wands. Wands in this deck look like they're represented by paddles. Seven of Swords. The Hierophant. Here's the Eight of Cups. And the world. I really like this artwork. It's just beautiful. I love the Queen Alice tarot, and I, I'd seen walkthroughs of this deck, and I knew I'd like it. King of Swords. The moon. Kind of a little sea serpent here on both sides. The Five of Swords. There is another mermaid tarot that's offered by uh, Los Carabeo, and I haven't picked that one up yet, but I think I may because I really love the uh, mermaid and the nautical theme. Four of Cups. One, two, three, four. Here's the King of Cups. He's got kind of an angular jaw there, kind of stern looking for a King of Cups, but I guess that gives him a little more strength. Love the dolphin. Very cute. Four of Swords. Restfulness, or kind of a, this looks like a kind of a gothy death card. I mentioned yesterday in a video I made on the Majestic Earth Tarot, their, their Four of Swords also had sort of a death type image. It was like a crypt. And I think that's really in keeping with the Four of Swords. The Rider Waite Smith shows a sold, uh, like a soldier, kind of in a restful pose, or it could almost be he's lying in state. Three of Cups. Celebration. Page of Cups. Got the fish there in his cup. Oh gosh, I just love this deck. Ace of Pentacles. Look at all the possibilities there before you. Riches. Job opportunities. Here is the Nine of Cups. We've got the gentleman in the bar with the Nine Cups. Two of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles. The Ten of Wands. Eight of Swords. Page of Pentacles. Ace of Wands. Lover Jewelry. Very cute. Every good mermaid has jewelry. Page of Wands. Oh, I like the acorns. Nice. Very nice. Temperance. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Look at the seaweed. Love that. Here is the Emperor. What I like about this is he's holding the hand of the mermaid. I love that. So the strong father figure and he's got his lady here. Very nice. What is a man without a woman and vice versa? Three of Pentacles. Two of Swords. Here is Death. Love how he's riding the seahorse. 
We've still got the Tudor Rose on the flag, the number 13. And a, sort of a drowned looking guy there. You can tell he's dead because he's got blue lips. The Magician. Nice Polynesian looking magician there. Really stirring things up, the turbulent waters. Nice. The Lovers. Very traditional Rider Waite looking. The Hermit. This is one of the cards that was changed from her first edition to the later editions. And as I recall, I like the first edition Hermit a little better than this one, but this is really nice too. Very traditional looking Hermit. Got the ocean behind him because of the ocean theme in the deck. Seven of Wands. Knight of Swords. Oh, I love that he's riding on a shark. I love that. Perfect. Ace of Swords. Five of Cups. The Five of Pentacles. Got the snow and the ice. Six of Wands. It's triumphal entry with the seahorse again rather than a horse horse, <laughs> if you know what I mean. The Merman. Here we have Strength. Beautiful. I love this Ace of Cups. That's one of my favorite ever Ace of Cups. Just beautiful. The cog shell. I've got, we've got the dove up here. Kind of almost a religious symbology there. Justice. I love how she's sitting inside of a oyster shell. There's the pearl. Page of Swords. Very nice swashbuckling gentleman there. Here's the star. Two of Cups. I really love conch shells, so I love the cups in this deck. Here's Judgment. Very traditional looking. There's the Queen of Cups which I don't know, I have a feeling Dame Darcy might have modeled this lady after herself. Here we have the Four of Wands. We've got the celebration aspect, the wands here, the paddles, and then the celebration is continuing on up here in the castle above. Seven of Pentacles. I love that there's a treasure chest in here, so you're not just waiting. There's not just the idea of waiting and hoping, but you've got some reward here already. So I really like that card. Six of Cups. Oh gosh, the starfish. Aren't those sweet? I love the beach, so this deck really speaks to me. Here's the King of Pentacles. Again, another seahorse for a horse. Knight of Wands. He doesn't have a seahorse. He's a land gentleman. The Knight of Wands. Knight of Cups does have a seahorse. A little Polynesian gentleman there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Here we have the Devil. Pretty traditional looking. The Queen of Pentacles. She's very regal. Not quite sure what her crown is made out of. Here we have the King of Wands. Very striking image. 
Two of Wands, very traditional Rider Waite image. The Sun, I love that, it's so joyful. Absolutely gorgeous. Here we have Wheel of Fortune. The ship's wheel, ten of cups, very nice, happy family, happy home, the end of a cycle. And this is one of my all-time favorite chariots. This is one of the reasons why I had to get this deck. I love this chariot card. Isn't that wonderful? I absolutely love this card. Seven of Cups, here is the Fool, ha ha ha, jumping off the cliff back to her watery domain. Who knows what lies ahead in her adventures. Here we have the Ten of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. So there's a ship loaded down with gold. You have plenty. Four of Pentacles. A firm foundation. The Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Of course, you can't have a bird underwater, so I do understand that. It's really a pretty card. I love her hair flowing above there and her treasure chest. Here's the Queen of Wands with her lion. She's very much a party animal. The drama queen, as I like to think of the Queen of Wands. She's got a sunflower in this card. They worked that in. Very good. Here's the Three of Swords. And the Empress. Ten of Swords. And please go to damedarcy.com, book section, then mermaid tarot deck, then click guide to using the tarot. Thank you. Thank you. And here we have, there is Dame Darcy herself. A little extra card here. So I hope you enjoyed this quick walkthrough. It was fun unboxing it with you. Take care and we'll talk to you again next time. Bye-bye.